Hockey Helps the Homeless is one of our largest and long-standing um, donors and supporters of this um, storage program. Long-term reliable funding is really integral in offering sort of these really um, basic but needed programs in the downtown east side. Hi, my name is Keely Hale and I'm the Director of Programs here at First United. And storage is one of the really unique programs that we offer to people um, in our community of the downtown east side. Yeah, let's see. My name is Mary Moutry. About two years ago, I found myself homeless. I was sharing a, an apartment on 34th and Victoria Drive with a roommate. My roommate ended up hanging himself and with a thousand dollars rent a month. I couldn't afford to keep my apartment. I was, I'm on disability too and I was making a, less than a thousand a month so I couldn't keep the apartment. That's why I became homeless. It's so degrading to not to have a place and you have all of your stuff and you don't know you can't leave it because if you leave it, it'll get stolen on the streets. And with the storage here, it was like, it took a big pressure off of me knowing that my stuff wouldn't get stolen or the police wouldn't harass me because I had so much stuff. Where the value for me is that it, it really supports people in giving them viable options um, sometimes um, when, you're, um, when you're homeless or if you are precariously housed, um, which would mean that uh, maybe you're under the threat of eviction, um, lots of um, sort of un like lots of things that are unstable in your life and, and um, your options sort of start to shrink and become lim limited. And um, this is a program that um, it's, it's not going to solve every problem for every person but it's one less thing that someone may have to worry about and the fact that people can use these storage bins and um and keep and keep their lives safe and um ready for when they're when they find housing or when they've they, when they move on and they don't need us anymore which is i mean the ultimate goal really is that we i mean how great would it be as if no one needed to have a 50 pound storage bin at first united but until that time, right, we really appreciate Hockey Helps the Homeless that supports um, people in, some, in sometimes the most traumatic and most challenging times of their lives where they don't, they don't, they don't know what to do. Me, I'm a half-assed artist. I like to draw and I go out and I brought a drawing board and I brought my pencils and they're not cheap. And it was great because I could come down to storage if I had pile of paper, pencils, papers, and books, I would put them in storage, then I could come down, get what I wanted, draw my picture, and didn't have to worry about my pencils or my coloring pencils because they're not cheap, they're expensive. So uh, yeah, my name is George Flett. I am the manager of the storage program. Um, there's people who've stored family memorabilia or pictures that like normally they would have just lost being outside. I mean, a lot of people before we opened up would just sleep with their stuff or sometimes try to stay awake for a week on end or sometimes a couple weeks on end, which is just horrible for your health, cuts years off your life and they would hold on to their stuff for as long as they can, pass out, wake up, everything's stolen and over and over and over and over and over again and the cycle just becomes so much that they can become infuriated with the whole cycle and then you know, people see them on the street and then they're angry and they're like, oh, they think that they're just an angry person, but they're not an angry person. They're just like somebody who's been constantly robbed on a daily or a weekly basis. And this at least gives them a chance to put away some of their valuables, some of their more important stuff so that they know something's safe. Yeah, uh, another part of having this service is that sometimes, you know, being outside and, you know, given the nature of the downtown east side that people do pass on and 
it's it happened a few times where people have passed on and have had bins with us, belongings with us, and uh, we've gotten a hold of their families and been able to pass on some stuff to them. And they're usually so grateful for that because sometimes they don't talk to, the, to talk to their family for like 10, 15 years at a time. You know, sometimes people have kids out there that haven't seen their parents for like most of their life. And to have at least a piece of them to keep with them means the world. Well, the funding we receive from Hockey Helps the Homeless every year not only helps us create this program here, but that actual money, those actual dollars themselves, enable us to leverage funding from other donors. So on the fundraising team, we really understand those dollars that are coming in year after year from Hockey Helps the Homeless as invaluable in building program stability and sustainability for our clients. I'm really, really happy that the people that are supporting this are helping the people like myself on the downtown east side when we become homeless that we're not worried about our stuff being lost or stolen or wet or damaged or the police harassing us. It's a great service for the homeless down here and thank you very much.